an unmet demand for education has resulted in some business-minded people opening up private schools. Some of these have been operating for years. Five unregistered private schools, and um, they might be more, but what we have on our list is Educare Private School in Valves, JJ's Private School, and uh, Stepping Stone is in Swako, and then we have Macademia Private School also in Valves, and then Gateway Private School in Valves, and then we also have one homeschooling uh, where a lady, Biola Ackerman, also applied. Now, all these schools were not approved, um, therefore they are unregistered. These private schools are not in possession of certificates of approval, meaning their infrastructure has not been inspected by the relevant authorities. This means conducive environments for teaching and learning have not been reviewed. Unregistered private schools often offer a different curriculum which could clash with that of governments. And if the teachers are foreign, they may be operating without a working permit. Most of the schools are popping out because they all also want to make money from this issue. So it should be that they assist the government with regards to access in education. But what we find is that there are schools that are really asking the parents a lot of money. There are reports of parents having spent thousands of dollars on these private schools and the Education Regional Directorate is on a mission to inspect all private schools in the region. Unregistered private schools will be closed down, although this will create a bit of a dilemma for the government as public schools have no capacity to accommodate all learners. We don't know how many learners are there and how many learners will be affected. So just to also just close down might um, bring another problem to us that we should accommodate the, those learners in government schools where we don't, have, we don't have space. The regional director says even though there are private schools which are genuinely assisting government, there are also those that blatantly take advantage of the situation and they need to be dealt with. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Swakopmund.